hey guys welcome to my channel so in this video we shall discuss about essentials of pyplot so pyplot is a sub package of uh, matplotlib and it is basically used for plotting graphs okay so now if you want to read more about it you can simply go to this link and read okay we will anyway see the most common used uh, functions of matplotlib okay so let's start so first as always we need to import it so for that i'll write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so i am giving it an alias name okay so let's wait okay so now that we have now let's try plotting our first graph okay so i'll simply write plt dot plot okay and then some random numbers like 4 comma 6 comma 3 comma 8 comma 6 okay i'm sorry okay so now we write plt dot plot after that what we do is we give it a label okay so i write plt dot y label so this is the label for y axis okay and i can call it numbers and similarly we can give label for x axis x dot label uh indices or let's say position okay and plt dot title means a title to the plot it will be written in the top center of the graph and this is called test okay so we you can give anything you want and now to display the plot we simply write plt dot show okay so let's see okay so it is giving us an error and that is because i made a small spelling mistake over here okay so now you can see we get the plot okay the plot looks uh, something like this uh, the first value is 4 so it is over here then the second value is 6 so it is third value over here is 3 so it is 3 so you can see uh, it has uh, made axis according to the values we give okay and this is the graph this is our y axis with the title and that is our y label that is numbers the x label is position so beside our x axis position is written and the title is test so over here test is written so let's add comments to it uh, this is label for y axis okay Lab label for x axis and this is title of graph and this displays the graph and i am sorry over here we need to write values of the graph now over here uh, we should keep it in mind that if we give a single list then it will or, or always be y axis okay now if we give two lists then the then the first one will be x axis and the second one will be y axis but over here it is one so it is definitely y axis now let's try giving two axis okay so i'll simply copy this paste over here and along with this i'll also give axis means x coordinates okay so as you can see over here it is 1 2 3 4 and 5 five values so we need to give five uh, values for the x axis as well okay so let's see so now it is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you can see the values are at 1 uh, means the first value is at 1 the second value is at 2 third at 3 fourth at 4 four, and fifth at 5 fifth. now when this was not given it was starting at 0 uh, so you can see that uh, by convention the axis always starts at 0 okay so now that we have this let's try adding some more things to it okay so now suppose if you want to see the grid uh, that is behind this all you need to do is you need to write plt dot grid so what it will do is it will add grid to the diagram 
adds grid okay so now let's see so you can see we have the figure with grids okay so i hope this was clear now over here suppose i have these values and then i write comma ro okay so ro stands in uh, for red and o shaped dots okay so let's see now you can see we have uh, red uh, colored o shaped dots at the positions that we have given over here so you understood what this ro stands for okay i'll anyways add over here ro means red colored o shaped dots okay so i hope this was clear now you can also add a grid to it and we have the grid okay so now let's try some more uh, different uh, ways of displaying the graph okay so i'll remove these titles okay we don't need it for now because we already had it in all the previous places so it is pretty much conclusive okay so now that we have over here we are gonna add some things and see how the graph changes so suppose over here if i write b dash dash okay so let's see what happens so now you can see we get blue dashes as our graph okay so this is what matters now let's change it from b dash dash to let's say r s okay so this is this means red red square sorry r s let's see so you can see we have uh, squares in red color okay now similarly we can do much more things so this is what i was trying to explain over here okay now we can also give line width okay so by line width we just need to write line width and then a value of let's say 4.0 i'm giving it a big value so it is pretty much uh, conclusive okay so let's see and you can see we have the graph with much more thickness than we had over here where the line width was not given okay so i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say okay so now let's create uh, multiple uh, uh, graphs in the same figure okay so what we just need to do is we write plt dot plot okay and then we give the values let's say it is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay and then it is 5 comma 4 comma 23 comma 7 comma 9 okay so this two will make the x coordinates and the y coordinates of the first graph now let's give it for the second graph so it is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay and the values are gonna be let's say 67 2 1 98 and 5 okay and after that everything is same we just we can simply write plt dot show so you can see we have two graphs over here and they automatically have taken two different colors okay so these two uh attribute to the first graph that is uh, in blue color and these two attribute to the second graph that is in orange color okay so now you have the accessibility to change these this as well okay so let's see what i can do is i'll write plt dot set p okay and uh, then i get uh, these value over here okay what uh, better i can do is i'll give it a name of let's say x is plt dot plot and in plt dot set p i write x 0 that means it returns as the first graph okay and then i can change its color to let's say uh, red 
okay and then i can also change its line width to let's say 4.0 okay and then if i write plt dot show so you can see this uh, first uh, graph that we had which was in blue color now it is in red color and its line width is 4 okay so using so this way you can uh, like uh, give different uh, uh, values to different graphs which are on the same figure so i hope uh, this part was clear okay uh, now let's uh, see how to create subplots okay so now i'll create a function that uh, returns a graph so that we can simply get values from that so i'll write a def func okay so i'll write a def graph function okay and then a value t and now to get the function uh, we can use uh, sine we can use cos we can use uh, tan so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna merge two things okay so that means uh, return np dot uh, cos okay and then two star np dot pi means it returns the pi value star t so that it changes according to the value of t uh, and uh, star np uh, dot exp as in the exponent and minus t okay so uh, this is uh, just a random function that returns a graph now if you don't know what is np then you should uh, then i recommend you to see the uh no videos on numpy that i already have <coughs> i will anyways add a link to it in the description now since we are using np we need to import it so what i'm gonna do is over here i'll write import numpy as np okay now that we have np uh this function works okay so now once we have got the function let's just start with the graphs okay so what i'll do is i'll create uh, two values uh so t1 is equal to np dot a range and then some random value for t that is gonna be 0 uh, 1 comma 10 uh, comma 0 point let's say 1 okay so with this we will get uh, different values for t1 means a list an array of values for t1 and similarly i want for t2 so i'll write np dot a range uh, 1 comma 5 comma 0.2 okay so i hope you all are well aware with uh, a range function if not i strongly suggest you go and watch the numpy series okay so now that we have two array of uh, values now let's start with the figure so i am gonna write plt dot figure and then one so this means creates a figure with emphasis on a or okay now after that i'll create subplot so plt dot uh, subplot okay and then two one one so it means that it is gonna have two rows one column and i am currently talking about first subplot okay so means this two stands for the number of rows uh, one stands for the number of columns and this uh, stands for the position of the plot that we are gonna uh, means that we are talking about okay so in that i wanna add grid okay and then plt dot plot and then i write uh, t1 that is our uh, array over here and get the function of t1 so this will give us uh, some sort of wave function and let's say i write uh, r dash dash okay means uh, red colored dashes okay so this way uh, let me remind you that this is so let me remind you that this is for the first subplot okay because we have written plt dot subplot 
टू वन वन एंड एम्फोसिस ऑन वन वेर इट मीन्स दैट इट इज़ टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट सब प्लॉट सो इन द फर्स्ट सब प्लॉट वी वॉन्ट द फंक्शन ऑफ टी वन एफ टी वन इन रेड कलर डैशेस ओके सो आई होप दिस वॉज अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड सब प्लॉट सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी विल राइट पी एल टी डॉट सब प्लॉट टू डैश वन टू स्पेस वन स्पेस टू means now we are talking about the second subplot okay so over here also plt dot uh, grid and then we write plt dot plot t2 comma f t2 com okay i am sorry t2 comma f t2 and this let's the, let this be b dash dash okay so now this is also done now let's finally write plt dot show and let's see the graphs okay i'm sorry i think there was a comma over here yes so the comma was over there now the error shouldn't be here okay so this is not f this is graph i am sorry and now we have the graph so you can see in one figure we have two different plots the first one is uh, this plot okay and the second one is this plot okay and this is one figure so i hope you are understanding what i was trying to say with sub plots okay so uh, this was about sub plots Uh, now similarly you can add uh, column names uh, means uh, name of the axis name of the figure and uh, all other stuffs that we did to a single graph okay so this was about the essentials of pi plot i hope everything was clear thank you